Okay, why Zumba? I love Zumba because they're all inclusive. Doesn't matter if you're young or old, big or small. Um, it doesn't matter what language you speak. Um, there's verbal cues, non-verbal cues, so it's all inclusive and everybody can do it. And why Latin music? Do you like Latin music in Zumba? Yeah, I love Latin music in Zumba because it's, they've got a great beat, it's fun, it's super sexy, and it just makes me feel happy. Wow. <laughs> beat, sexy, fun, and she feels happy. Like yeah. me with the Latin music. <laughs> Hola, ¿cómo están? Yo soy Rosa León y están en mi canal para aprender español Easy and Peasy. Let's go to Zumba. Many instructors, Zumba instructors, they love the Latin music. Like a mine, for example, as you heard before, she said she loved the Latin music in the Zumba because the beats, because it's sexy, because the music, well, the rhythm, that is truth. Many people love Latin music, but at the same time, many people, they don't know what that song's lyrics are talking about. Yeah, many people follow the Latin music just because the beat, just because it's very, very happy because you can feel like a happier, you can feel like a, a lot of adrenaline in your body and more when you are, you know, making aerobics, Zumba, practicing sports, uh, workout, working out, that kind of activities. When you are listening Latin music, you feel like a more energy. It's like a you are charging your batteries to continue walking, to continue jumping, to continue dancing. Yeah, this is the some kind of effect, adrenaline effect we have with the Latin music. But at the same time, many people, they don't know what is the Latin music about. Well, let's talk about this a little. The Latin music, which is more popular everywhere, is the Latin pop, the bachata, Mexican music, which is using a lot like a the Tex-Mex uh, in the border between Mexico, Texas. Uh, they love the Tex-Mex, Mexican music. And that the rancheras is what kind of Latin music, Mexican music the people really like. The tango, the tango is from Argentina and many people like it because they think it's a very sexy dance. More than the music, than the listening, the tango, the people like dance tango. Other popular are the Brazilian music because many people think Brazilian music is very sexy too. Uh, and this is some kind of music you have to move your body completely, uh, very candid, very hard, is uh, is very sexy. Yes, it is. The Brazilian music, it is. And other Latin music that people really enjoy is the Latin rock, alternative music, the urban music, the merengue, and the salsa. Merengue and salsa are very popular in the islands like a Dominican Republic, like a Puerto Rico, um, also in Venezuela, Colombia, everywhere the merengue and the salsa is very popular. And now abroad in other countries, as I said before, well, this music, everybody like it. Oh, let me take about that. Not everybody, but uh, the people who likes Latin music, they really enjoy the Latin rock, the alternative music, Brazilian music, the urban music, Latin pop, tango, bachata, Mexican, and merengue and salsa. But right now, which, which one is very international and everybody knows around the world and a lot of people love it, and most of that people is a very young people, including including uh, kids, well, the reggaeton, yep. The reggaeton is the most popular right now. In my case, I love tango, yes I do. I love merengue and salsa, 
I like Latin rock, I enjoy the Brazilian, and I love the Latin pop and the Latin urban music. But reggaeton is not my favorite, but still I have some reggaeton are very nice because you can feel the beat, because you can feel energized, as I said before, and uh, they are very nice to dance. But the reggaeton right now is the most popular. Yeah, it's very popular. This is the music like most the people, young people and kids know when you are asking them about the Latin music. Let's talk now about the reggaeton because this is what the people is asking me. In another video, maybe we can talk about the other uh, Latin music styles but about reggaeton so i am not an expert because the reggaeton is not the kind of music i really enjoy i like song of them and i like more because the beat because you can dance and because i denominate that like a light reggaeton because they have a very nice simple light lyric yeah i said or i call those reggaeton songs like a light reggaeton well an example of that kind of reggaeton i am talking about right now is the new one is not so new has a lot of months already but it's very very popular and everybody i know like the 90 percent of the people already they know about this reggaeton song the name is of course despacito Despacito is a uh, Daddy Yankee and Luis Fonsi song and uh, is reggaeton with Latin pop music together. Why is so famous? Because believe me, it's very famous. Uh, since 2096, Macarena was a song in that time in the 90s and she was in the 100 top spot. But, yeah, for many times, this is an Spanish song. Dale tu cuerpo alegría, Macarena, que tu cuerpo es para darle alegría y cosa buena. Dale tu cuerpo alegría, Macarena, hey, Macarena. That song was very popular in the 90s, at the end of the 90s. And since that song, now, many years after, appears Despacito. Despacito has more than 69 million views, the video, just the video, and uh, is, has like a 3 billions, 3 billions of views about the song, and everybody know about this song. Why Despacito is so famous and also was translated and using and singing in Austria, Japan, Uruguay, everywhere, and also won a lot of Grammy awards. Well, this Despacito is a combination of styles because has traditional guitar, has reggaeton, has mix of Latin, Caribbean, and Main Street pop has many influences, rap bears, you know uh, that Yankee rap in that song, and a catchy melody, yeah, and the Spanish lyric sounds like a globalized cultural song. The other point is very famous about the song is the girl who is dancing in that song. Why? Because when you are listening that music and you are using, as I said before, all those influence styles, all those influence music styles, well, you can see the girl dancing everywhere. So she danced between the town, she danced on the streets, she danced at the supermarket, uh, she danced everywhere. And uh, so you can listening, dance, and see her dancing everywhere. So all that stuff is a very nice combination. And this is the reason because Despacito is so famous. In fact, in December, I went to the place here in Fort Collins. And this is a place when I can dance and listen salsa because I love 
salsa and the salsa bent at the end decide to play despacito and I was like a really are you kidding me so they were playing singing despacito in salsa style so this is a uh, some kind of um, uh, example how despacito is so famous well this is that kind of reggaeton is very nice or reggaeton is very good for dancing and singing because i denominate that reggaeton like a light reggaeton the other group of reggaeton and i repeat it again i am not expert i don't want problem with the people but many people will be agree with me exist and another reggaeton is like a no light it's like a more heavy reggaeton nobody called reggaeton a heavy reggaeton but it's me who is making a this kind of classification between light and between heavy the heavy reggaeton is more wow it's more hard about lyric because has the same beat is very nice to dance for many people looks or sounds sexy but the problem is for me and for parents who are concerned about their little kids eight nine ten years old singing those songs is because the lyric uh, has a lot of sexual content and i am not going to repeat that so we are going to call this kind of reggaeton like a heavy reggaeton so those reggaeton lyrics are very complicated has a lot of a uh, very hard content no apt for younger kids and a lot of people like it like it just because of that and because the beat and if you put everything together well a lot of people enjoy that music but many people some of them are parents of my students other are my own students who are older enough because i have students everywhere for many age different age and they are asking that for that lyric well that reggaeton is a heavy reggaeton because the lyric is a very hard one in fact right now uh, in facebook is a campaign and the campaign is engaged reggaeton and i think it's very important to separate because not all the reggaeton is so hard or belong to that kind of group i call heavy reggaeton not all of them is like that so we need to separate that and uh, i am not engaged the reggaeton but i know and i read a lot and i know it's a facebook campaign about it and they have a very nice slogan the slogan is something like a uh, usa la razón que la música no degrade tu condición that means if you translate that is like a think about it don't let the music degrade you well it's because those kind of reggaetons degrade too much or sometimes too much the women yeah the women condition so this campaign used shocking images you know to illustrate the disturbing lyrics are popular in some reggaeton songs and some people think it's violent, uh, degrading the woman. Um, they are right. Yes, some reggaeton, heavy reggaeton songs have very, very degrading and violent uh, and degrading women in their lyric, but not all of them. So I am agree with the campaign. So like, uh, you need to think about it and don't let the music degrade you so choose what are you going to listen so choose what are you going to dance and choose what are you going to sing because maybe you are singing something is degrading you as a woman or maybe you are singing something is degrading the women are in your life it is if you are not a woman so be careful about that but that doesn't mean it's my only uh concern about this campaign because it's not all the songs not all the reggaeton singers sing songs like that so you need to separate between as i say the light and the heavy reggaeton and also in the heavy reggaeton heavy reggaeton some of them are very very heavy 
So, let me finish this with that. Usa la razón que la música no degrade tu condición. Think about it, don't let the music degrade you. Well, that's it. That's it for today. So, I hope you learn a little about the different kind of Latin American music we have. I hope you learn a little about how the reggaeton works, the different kind of lyrics they have. And of course, I hope you took right now the decision to continue learning Spanish so you can enjoy all the music you want. All the Latin American music, also the Spanish music, which is very good. And you will enjoy more if you don't only feel the beat, the rhythm, and enjoy with your body. Also, if you can understand what is the lyric about, well, you will enjoy more to singing and dancing. That music will be complete, not only dancing, also listening and singing. Well, remember, subscribe to my channel. Suscríbete a mi canal and you will receive the bell to remind you when my videos will be available and if you subscribe to my channel you send me an email asking me for all the material I have we finish this first topic this first topic has five lessons and 12 videos yeah six videos were about tips learning lessons and six videos were about culture and next stories so those 12 videos and the extra videos like yesterday and today and all the material is 33 different materials yes all of them belong to one one topic mm -hmm. so send me an email and you will receive the answer telling you how you can access to the 33 powerpoints and words material i have for you so you can practice reading and continue learning spanish also you can use it to continue learning and practicing english because all that material is bilingual you can use in both directions sounds good okay well follow on my social media and i hope the way i change this video you will enjoy at the same time you watch the people in their zumba class you can listen in and learn about the latin american music but i'm sorry if i cannot show you more music it's the law and we need to be respectful with everybody else's work right well see you soon please remember continue learning spanish practicing 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 and practicing if you learn spanish you will listening and understanding the latin american music and if you speak spanish already and you are learning with these videos english practicing your english well imagine you can listening english music and understand what the lyrics say so don't stop learning never never is late don't stop learning see you the next week in our next topic yeah we are going to start on a new topic with more with 12 more videos see you soon adios que estén bien